the six news. A Washington man claims he is now the target of retaliation. This comes after he reported illegal dumping along with health and safety violations. It all centers around the water treatment plant in Woodland. Chris Woodard with the story that you'll see only on Coin 6. Here in Woodland, the city isn't talking, but an employee is making some pretty damaging claims on two different fronts. One, that there are some serious health and safety violations going on. The second, that he was retaliated against for reporting it. I felt like it was something I had to do. Derek Ambrigi says he couldn't just let it go. I just started noticing, you know, things that were not right. As an employee at the Woodland Wastewater Treatment Plant, he says he witnessed the release of contaminated water into the Lewis River, the illegal dumping of raw sewage onto city property, and falsifying of test records by his supervisor. It goes from being surprised and shocked to like, you know, what's going on here, and now what do I do? Ambrigi also provided us pictures showing what he says was his supervisor contaminating testing areas by butchering meat and then storing it at a lab refrigerator next to samples and grooming his dog at the city plant. He first reported it to the state. Public Works Department works for the city. I mean, the taxpayers of Woodland should expect more from their supervisors, from their superintendents, from everybody all the way up. The state investigated. We got the documents showing their conclusion that water test results were falsified. Ambergy says he also showed those pictures to Woodland Mayor Grover Lasicki. But within a week of reporting his concerns, he says he began getting disciplinary write-ups and says his year-end performance evaluation went from outstanding to unsatisfactory, and he was demoted. It's easy to do the right thing. What they're doing is the total opposite. I mean, so I didn't see the retaliation coming. I thought they would handle the problem. Now, Ambergy has filed a claim against the city asking for $1 million in damages. I went to the city for answers, but they aren't answering questions. They tell us there is an internal investigation and they've hired an outside company to perform a four-month audit on the water treatment plant. City staff tell me they have received the claims and passed them on to the city attorney and their insurance carrier. Now we're going to continue to follow this story and continue to ask questions to try and find out what really happened. In Woodland, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News.